getting you focused on getting back on track a year after the coronavirus broke out here. Yeah, a lot of students struggled with all the school changes, especially those in special education programs. KPRC 2's Kathy Hernandez is at North Shore Elementary School in East Harris County. She's explaining this morning. What can you tell me? Samantha is nine years old. You like that? She likes to learn. She does love school. She also loves Girl Scouts and baseball. My daughter is in fourth grade and she is on the autism spectrum. Samantha was diagnosed with autism in kindergarten. She struggles with focusing and social skills, some pragmatic language and reading comprehension. Once the pandemic hit, our world changed even more so for little Sammy. She just didn't understand what was happening. Virtual classes made it tough. And once we had her her area set up, we wrote her schedule out for her that her teachers had established. And if you get off task, will you learn? No. Looking at the screen and her little eyes would wander. Like many school districts, Galena Park ISD noticed. The direct connection and direct engagement that they depend so heavily on to thrive was literally snatched away. Assistant Superintendent Dr. Michelle Epps says the special education students returned weeks before others. We realized the need to get them back as quickly as possible and to begin reestablishing those routines that are so vital and important. Dr. Duncan Klusman with the University of Houston says it'll take a community effort. You can't go back to what the day before that looked like. It really has to be different. And the difference starts at home. You have to try different things and be willing to adjust. For the Benavides family, they knew Samantha would be most successful in the classroom. She's doing amazing and she's thriving here right. back on campus. Ready? Out of her face. And this is in the classroom where Samantha is a student here, really thriving and becoming more successful, according to her family. It is here at North Shore Elementary School. They have a special program called Focus, specifically to meet their daughter's needs. Dr. Klusman also says that visual schedules, like the one you see here in this classroom, help kids know what to expect, what comes next, and when an activity is done. He says be prepared for disruptions and have a plan in place if they happen. He also urges parents keep communication open between families and teachers and school districts to make sure they are going over exactly what that student needs going forward. He also says make sure you tell your student job well done. And of course, make sure that you understand every child is different. Reporting live at North Shore Elementary School, Kathy Hernandez, KPRC 2 News. I think that's a good reminder not to put too much pressure on anyone involved in this situation because it seems like we're all still learning uh, how to proceed. Yeah. Thank you so much, Kathy. Great story. Thanks.